The next syndrome we're looking at is what is known as the Adam Stokes syndrome. All right. Okay, Adams actually has an S. Adams Stokes syndrome. Now, this syndrome is something that has to do with what? Fainting. All right. And it's due to some problems in the heart. Okay. So a patient has a recurrent episode of fainting and if you trace it, the problem is from the heart, okay? So Adam Stokes syndrome is actually a medical emergency. It is defined as what? There is a recurrent episode of fainting, that's syncope, or there is near syncope. So it's either the patient is fainting or they have gone, they have lost consciousness to the level of what? Almost fainting, all right? Causes could be, could be that there's, there was a complete heart block. That was a third degree atrioventricular block, right? Or the heart is beating so low. That's what is known as bradycardia, right? The heartbeat is less than 40 beats per minute. I know that the heartbeat should not be less than what? Uh, 60 beats per minute, right? So if having heartbeat as low as what, 40 beats per minute, there's a long QT syndrome then there's ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation that means the ventricles are kind of like beating so fast so fast so fast like that uh there's cardiac conduction system disease there's hypertension there's hypothyroidism all right there's what electrolyte imbalances all of this come together to actually define what is known as what a stoke syndrome all right so stoke syndrome there could be bradycardia or tachycardia but it's leading to a sudden severe decrease in the cardiac output leading to what fainting episodes so the first symptoms that you always put there is what there is recurrent syncope or near syncope either the patient has fainted or has nearly fainted right there's dizziness there's lightheadedness there's confusion there's seizure like activity there's pallor there's bradypnea or apnea all right, there's hypotension all right check the blood pressure is very low and all that so there's episodes of sudden loss of consciousness there's that is lasting about in seconds to minutes and it's often preceded that's before the patient fainted if you ask them to tell that they were feeling so dizzy your lightheadedness the place was turning and all that okay diagnosis you can confirm this by electrocardiography Alter monitoring, event monitoring, echocardiogram, then electrophysiology studies. You're trying to look at how the impulses are being conducted in the heart. Okay. Treatment, you can do cardiac pacing, medications, cardioversion, and implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Okay, so that's it for Adams Stokes syndrome.